This is the continuation of the best cybersecurity certifications for the year 2022. But this time, okay, fine, it's not exactly the worst cybersecurity certifications because the worst certifications are something that we don't even know. It's not worth the time and effort researching about it. What we're gonna talk about is why I didn't pick some of the well-known cybersecurity certifications and recertification strategy. Oh, if you missed the best cybersecurity certification videos, kindly check the link in the description below. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your career and certification captain. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. <laughs> Under security engineering and vendor certifications, we only have four. And here are the other popular vendors that I didn't include. Okay. So the biggest hardware vendor is actually not Cisco. It's Dell EMC, and then you can also add VMware. They don't have a well-known security certifications. This goes the same with HP. Other popular vendor is Juniper. However, their security solution is not doing well anymore. In the past, the top firewall is actually NetScreen, and this is acquired by Juniper. They rebranded it and uh, was using Juniper SRX now. Okay, we also have Fortinet. I would put it on number five or six. Uh, the reason why I didn't include it because Palo Alto Networks and Checkpoint is still the best next generation firewall solution. Cisco is the biggest security solution vendor. And F5, they have web application firewall and the best application delivery controller. I'm also not a big fan of what Fortinet did for their certifications, different levels, one, two, three, four, up to eight. Other vendors such as McAfee, Splunk, Farai, Imperva, Akamai, etc. They have good solutions. They have next generation IPS, endpoint security, DDoS protection, and web application firewall, but their certifications are not well known. The good thing about Cisco certification is the recertification. You would understand this if you have at least a CCNP level. Every professional level exam you pass, you'll recertify associate level and professional level exams. If you pass a core exam like S-Core, this will also recertify your CCIE. You will see people, including myself, they have 10, 20, 50 certifications. This can be easily recertified by passing one exam. Penetration testing certifications. This would be the most controversial. Why I didn't include EC Council and SANS GIAC certifications. First, EC Council. Well, they only have one popular certification, and that is CEH. CEH is expensive for beginner level because you are required to pay and attend official training before you take the exam. It can be lifted though, if you have years of experience, but it's not for everyone. Second, it's only good for three years. Would you want to retake the same exam and no other certifications will be recertified? At least in Comptia Pentest Plus, you are recertifying lower level certifications, such as Security Plus, Linux Plus, and many others. And uh, you are not required to attend and pay for the official training. Most CEH holders I know, their certification got expired. It's not worth it. See this meme? Yeah, this meme. Although it's not 100% accurate, OSWE and EWPTX should be somewhere above ECPTX, but it's correct. 
CH is down in the bottom. Sans Giac is also expensive. For example, G Pen. It costs 1,699 US dollars for an application. Or you can also purchase training exam bundle, which roughly costs 2,500 USD. It's expensive, right? You know what's more expensive? Sans Giac certification expires every four years and you have to pay for the maintenance. For offensive security and e-learn security, all certifications you see in the slide, exams are all hands-on and more real world. There is no prerequisite and there is no expiration. It's yours forever. And it's also not expensive. For example, OSCP. It costs 1,150 US dollars. This includes self-paced training with lab access plus the actual exam. Certifications under offensive security, same with Eler security, have no expirations. The reason why I didn't include EJPT, Eler Security Junior Penetration Tester, because you can take ECPPT directly, which is a mid-level certification. And who wants to see Junior in your certification? I would prefer taking Security Plus and Pentest Plus. It's much easier. Then after, you can go for OSCP or an ECPPT. Security Operations and Analysis Certifications. Again, Offensive Security and eLearn Security top certification choices because it's all hands-on and there is no expiration. Cisco Cyber Ops Professional and soon Expert Level again will recertify all your Cisco certifications. CASP Plus also recertifies all your CompTIA certifications and it also qualifies Security Management Path. EC Council and SANS GIAC have certifications under this path, but again, expensive and they all expire. Security Management Certifications. All right, CISA. CISSP and CISM. All three have expirations, but these are the best certifications under security management path. It's worth maintaining it. So how do you maintain it? It's not really difficult. Just earn CPE credits by attending meetings and conference organized by sponsored chapters. So let's talk more about CompTIA CASP Plus. Again, dual purpose. If you attain CISA, CISM, or CISP, your CASP Plus and other CompTIA certifications will be renewed. If you're not into security management, you are more of a technical person. If you attain CCNP or CCI security, or Offensive Security Expert Level Certifications, Pentest Plus, CYSA Plus, and Lower CompTIA Certifications will also be renewed through CompTIA Continuing Education Program. I hope you enjoyed our recertification strategy discussions and me clarifying why other certifications are not in the list. Maybe some of you are thinking, well, I want to work in the U.S. government and offensive security and e-learn secure certifications are not in the list of DOD approved 8570 baseline certifications. Well, I know that and we're going to talk about it in another video. For now, like this video if you agree with me and also like it even if you don't.